गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज स्क्र किलोमीटर अरे प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इंडिया हैज डिसाइडेड टू फॉर्मली ज्वाइन द स्क्र किलोमीटर अरे प्रोजेक्ट एंड इंटरनेशनल साइंटिफिक कोलेबोरेशन वर्किंग टू बिल्ड द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट रेडियो टेलीस्कोप India's announcement to join the project was accompanied by the approval of a financial contribution of rupees 1250 crore for the project. Now let's discuss what is square kilometer array project. The square kilometer array project aims in creating world's largest radio telescope. It is a collection of thousands of dish antennas operating as a single unit located in various locations in Australia and Africa. These antennas will be installed in specific array design that will make the function as single radio telescope. The name square kilometer comes from the original plan to create one square kilometer that is 1 million square meter of effective area for collecting radio waves. The development of SKA is based on the observations of another powerful telescope called the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder. Once operational, SKA would be 5 to 60 times more powerful than the most advanced existing radio telescopes. Now moving on to contribution of India in the project. India has been involved in the SKA project right from its inception in the 1990s and contributed to the design and development of the telescope. It contributed to negotiating the SKA Observatory Convention. It is an international treaty that established the facility as an intergovernmental organization. India also contributed to the neural network and the software that will run the entire facility. SKA regional center will be set up in the country that will be part of the global network to process and store data. Now lastly let's discuss about its benefits for India. There will be immense science and technology gains for the country by participating in the project as a full member. A full member status would provide India preferential access to the SKA facilities. Member countries might get preferential allocation of time on the radio telescope roughly in proportion to their contributions to the project. Only limited time slots will be available through competitive bidding. India will have access to the intellectual properties generated by the project. Project participation will increase the science and technology base in the country. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements regarding the square kilometer array project. One, it is an observatory designed to observe universe in UV wavelength. Two, India is a founding member of the project. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. 